Hi Capricorn, this is your weekly August 9th through August 15th tarot reading. I do multiple spreads per reading. Check out the featured channel video for more details. Also, please donate to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We've got the Hierophant, the Page of Wands, the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Cups. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Water Sign, Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. So this is a bit tricky here, right? Because we do have the Hierophant. This is either a Taurus you're dealing with or this card represents a traditional connection, uh, a relationship, a committed relationship and even marriage, right? And we have the Queen of Cups here. Um, the Queen of Cups is either a water sign, Cancer Scorpio or Pisces you're dealing with, or this person is very emotional, very loving, and often wears their heart on their sleeve. So you could be dealing with one of those people, right? <laughs> and if you are dealing with this Queen of Cups, then um, what this person wants with you or what you want with them is a commitment or or um, a marriage right and we've got the nine of cups here this is a wish come true card so perhaps uh, you meet this person and you immediately um, have this feeling that this person is the one for you this is the person you want to settle to settle down with and start a family and have children with right but I think you're gonna hide it initially because we've got the page of ones the page of ones is a small offer you're not gonna uh, jump all over this person because you will be afraid to scare them off or something like that so you're gonna start off small but you're gonna make sure that your intentions are known the page of ones is all is a passionate message so you'll start flirting with this person exchanging text messages calling them um, take them taking them out for drinks or taking them out for a walk you know things like that but uh, in reality like I already mentioned, you do know that this person is the one and you just want to make sure that uh, they don't know how crazy you are about them. And keep in mind it could be happening the other way around. <laughs> Alright, Capricorn? Capricorn, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description below. In the extended I'll do two or three spreads. Uh, depending on how the situation unfolds. We'll take a look at what to expect between you and this person and we'll get you an advice. I do extensions for new love only because that's what people are interested in the most. Capricorn, if you are already married or if you are in a relationship, this spread is for you. We've got the Page of Wands, we have the Knight of Swords, the King of Swords, and we have the Page of Pentacles clarified by the Ace of Wands. You could be dealing with um, Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So, um, if uh, your significant other is an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, then the spread is definitely for you. But the King of Swords, that's the card I was just referring to, could be uh, your significant other or you, assuming the energy of the King of Swords and somebody who has become, who is going to be very determined, very straightforward, and somebody who is ready to push their agenda through and that's I think what's about to happen in this relationship there will be a sudden change coming either from you or your significant other depending on who assumes the uh, king of swords energy right so this king of swords male or female absolutely doesn't matter has a plan to change something and they're gonna communicate it to the other party involved here right and it's all about um, either re it's all about children because we've got page of ones and the page of pentacles if you have children so there could be some kind of a change a positive change or innovation in regards to your kids perhaps you want them to start doing something or you want them to um, change something about their uh, day or routine something like that right and we've got the Ace of Wands, this is all about the new beginning, the change that you want to implement. Or it could be all about passion, or it could be all about uh, um, something that has to do with finances, right? Because the Page of Wands is, uh, could be about passion, or it could be about um, work 
you know, because once it could be about work on the page of Pentacles, it could be about work as well, or about finances, or some kind of an investment. Um, and the Ace of Wands is also somebody gets really, really passionate about this new thing or this change or this innovation, right? So um, your relationship is about to get uh, more dynamic because the Knight of Swords, you know, brings up speed and the Ace of Wands could be a new spark in your relationship. So whatever it is, whatever change, whatever quick change one of you is going to introduce, into your relationship will make it better or your kids are about to, if you have children your children will uh, start doing something new that will also benefit them let's see if anybody comes back from the past for your Capricorn this week we've got the six of Pentacles the nine of swords the queen of wands then we have the ace of Pentacles clarified by the tower and we've got the six of swords on the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries Leo, or Sagittarius. This is a tricky spread and it can go either way. There will be an offer made all of a sudden, out of the blue, and most likely this Queen of Wands is involved here. This is either a fire sign, Aries Leo, or Sagittarius, or this person is very passionate, uh, somebody who doesn't stand, sit around and they're easy to get up and go. Uh, they could also have a short temper. <laughs> so there will be a return of this person and I don't know if this is going to be you reaching out to them or them reaching out to you there will be an offer made that's the uh, ace of pentacles for you I know it's kind of blocked by the tower but the tower is there for a reason the tower is a very unexpected offer so this person is going to drop out of the sky uh, or you are going to drop out of the sky on their porch and make them an offer and uh, this is where it gets tricky because we have the six of swords on the bottom of the deck uh, the six of swords is somebody moving on or somebody moving out of choppy waters towards calmer waters so it, it can be interpreted both ways this offer will either get accepted and the two of you will move forward together going towards something better in your life or the offer will get rejected and uh, you will have to just move on or this person is moving on right so the tower card in this case could you know swing both ways the tower is either something suddenly happens out of the blue like I was saying um, or the tower is the rejection right and the uh, your wish to get back with this person is just falling apart you know so let me know in the comments how this plays out for you I'm kind of curious because like I said it can go either way this offer will either get accepted or this offer will either get denied and uh, you will have to move on without this person all right cool let's see what you're not expecting to happen to your Capricorn this week we've got the eight of Pentacles the two of swords uh, the knight of cups and the five of wands they could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So uh, I can interpret this a couple of different ways. Um, you could be facing a dilemma or a choice between working or, um, you know, spending time looking for the love of your life. <laughs> so that's the Two of Swords. That's the uh, dilemma. That's the crossroads. And on the left from it, we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is the work card. And on the right from it, we have the Knight of Cups, which is all about love, <laughs> right? Or if you're already involved with somebody, you'll be facing a dilemma whether you want to work or spend time with your loved one. And the Five of Wands is uh, you fighting inside your own head trying to make a decision about it <laughs> so um, another way I can interpret this spread is somebody could uh, come back around unexpectedly and uh, make you an offer to work on the relationship and they will express their love to you they'll say that they're still in love with you and they realize their mistake and uh, this is the dilemma for you do you want to uh, 
get back together with this person or do you want to uh, tell this person no? All right, Capricorn, if you can interpret this any other way, uh, please let me know in the comments below. Other than that, have a great week, Capricorn. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.